Ok, vamos a grabar. And we are recording. <laughs> ok, this, this is just to make sure that we have good audio. Let me double check. One, two, one, two. <laughs> All right, my friends, we have been experiencing a problem and I'm asking for your guys' help. Here's the problem. Let me just kind of write it down for you real quick. And then we're gonna go over to the machine because we have some parts that I'm gonna swap. Because it may be what the problem is, but it also may not be what the problem is. Okay, so here we go. We have the compressor here. Here's the motor. Whatever. So we have the compressor. When the pressure drops to 110 PSI, the motor kicks in and it brings it up to 150 PSI. So this is where the pressure of the compressor is always at. Now, the airline is putting out the right, <clears throat> the airline is putting out the correct PSI. Now we have an air hose that attaches to an air filter that also has a oil filter and this air filter is actually a pressure regulator so the pressure regulator has to have the psi for the machine to operate at 110 psi with a tolerance of about 5 psi which means that when the heads of the machine are printing or the machine is moving it drops about 5 psi and it works at the uh, correct PSI, which is 110 for the machine to operate. So I have mine set to 120, just in case there's any um, pressure loss while we're using the machine, especially with multicolors. Then we go to the machine Okay, the problem that I'm having is that when I'm printing, I hit the machine and it rotates once, twice. I have head number one, four, and eight on. Uh, this one's with double stroke, single stroke, single stroke, which that it's not really important. But when the machine rotates and it prints one time, the PSI on my machine drops about 30 PSI. It rotates a second time and I lose about 60 PSI and then I get an alarm for low air pressure. Oh my gosh. Pressure. Okay. All right, so I got the new pressure regulator installed. And then down here, I took out this old pressure gauge that was just completely busted. Okay, see, see. Damn, that thing was busted. So that one went specifically down here and I believe that is the pressure that goes to all of the oh here we go um to the choppers so whenever the squeegee chops and it comes down and the flood bar flips that's what that pressure is for so uh, once I kick on the compressor and get the right PSI on my other regulator, I'm gonna come and check this one. I'm gonna run the machine and hopefully it was just that.
and I will let you guys know because I'm asking for help and if this fixes it and you have a problem, hopefully you can troubleshoot it like this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the compressor is on now. I make sure that there was no water in there. All right, here we go. Just gotta let it in very slowly, just in case something was. <laughs> what I say? What did I say? Oh, that was scary. That was really scary. Mira, ahorita que entre el 100. Okay, so aquí recomiendan 110. So we're going to put it at 110 and lock it. Ahí está. Todo está bien. We got the pressure at 110. Compressor kicks in when it drops to 120. Everything's good. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay, let's put some time. Let's do nine seconds. Vamos a darle ahí, normal. Okay, right now, like I said, with the carousel, it spins. The pressure remains the same, no problem. We are at 110. I know it's hard to see the needle, but there's a fluctuation of about, uh, it's, it's within the five PSI, maybe less. But that's just with the carousel. All right, let's go turn on some heads. Come on. Metele grasa para eso. Let's do head number one with two strokes. Let's do head number four, five. Okay, looks good. We got four heads on right now. See, now now we hit the 80. There it is. And this thing shouldn't go past 110. Okay, so we had the machine go around maybe a full circle and we went from 110 to 60 and you can hear the machine already having a hard time to ha uh, push the carousel up. Okay. It's going up very slowly. I'm an idiot. I turned off the compressor. Turned it off. Yeah. Está apagado. Prendelo. All right, so my dad turned on the compressor. I had it off. What an idiot. Where, where is it? Uh, the uh, Jersey Mike's is on 36th Street in Indian School. You know what? Other print shop? Graphic concept graphics one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's a McDonald's right there, right? That's 36th Street in Indian School. 36? I think so. Yeah, because that's where Jersey Mike's is, across the street. Okay, yeah. I'll take a number tuna. Tuna sub. Cynthia! Alright, fellas. I apologize for that. The compressor was off. And uh, that's why we lost the pressure. So now we're doing a real test. The compressor is running. We are above 120 over there. I had the 
PSI here set at 120. And actually, I did it at 110 just to see what would happen. So we have all heads running. You can see that it drops just about a couple PSI and then it pops back up, which is what the regulator should be doing. So that is working correctly as of right now. Now, like I said earlier, we don't have any heads actually printing with any squeegees on them. So uh, once the pressure actually applies, I think it uses a little bit more uh, air. So that might cause it to drop even more once I start running, once I start running, but I won't know that until I print. So um, we have the shirts, we have the screens. We're about to set up here in a couple of minutes. Once we do, I'm gonna run that order and then I'll give you guys an update on what happened. If this fixes this, then I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, then I hope you can help me. All right, so it looks like we ran the machine throughout the day and the problem didn't come back. Now, I'm not saying that that fixed it. Let's see if this makes it any better. Okay, I don't know if that fixed it, but the problem didn't come back. So I hope that it did. In future videos, if it comes back, I'm gonna mention it. I hope that it doesn't come back because we have a lot of work coming in. All right, so your banner and your other thing. Let's see. Hold it. Go ahead, do your thing. Talk to your mama. What thing am I supposed to do? Talk to your mama. Mm, my mom? Yeah. Hi, mom. That's the microphone. Hi, mom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, once again, I'm going to look like a complete buffoon on one of Vega's, uh, what do you call this, a vlog, a vlog, vlog. Yep. so yeah, I'm going to look retarded on here, but we can't say that either anymore. Hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to look kind of dumb because I wasn't ready for this, and just like in typical fashion. It was way cooler the other day when I was like...